this is Blake with Z-Wave Outlet. Today we're going to be talking about the hourglass effect when setting up a mesh network like Z-Wave. And we're also going to be talking about how to set up a Vera Edge in wireless bridge mode, which actually combats the hourglass effect. So let's start with what is the hourglass effect. I drew up this diagram, and on this diagram you can see that I've got a hub and I've got all our devices listed, one through eight. And you can see that uh, the hub is on one side of the house and you have devices, say, on the left side of the home. And you have one device in the center. And what's happening in this diagram is device one, two, and the hub cannot communicate with four, five, six, seven, eight without going through device number three. And this is what's considered the hourglass effect and it will leave you with poor performance, unreliability, and you yelling at your Vera hub because it's not working right. And what's going on here is as you send commands through your hub, it's generating commands through device three to communicate with all these other devices. Now if device three is not found or, uh, or it just is not working or it's, it's uh, having too much bandwidth, too much communication going through it, it's going to slow down your, your entire network, your entire Z-Wave network. And again, you're going to notice it. So in order to combat this, in all reality, you should be setting up your Vera hub in the center of your home and making sure you have multiple ways of communications um, to, better, to, uh, to generate a better mesh network. Now, your Vera hub, there's other Z-Wave controllers out there that actually allow for what's called a wireless bridge mode. Now by far we always recommend hardwiring your Vera, hardwiring your Z-Wave hub if, if you can. But for some of our customers it's not feasible, it's not possible. We've got a couple installs where there is no way that we could run a wire from a central location out to it. So plan B is to go ahead and put your Vera or another Z-Wave controller in a wireless bridge mode. What that allows you to do is Set up, the wire, set up the Vera in a central location of the home and use the Wi-Fi to communicate uh, to the Vera uh, instead of using a hardwired connection. So with the recent firmware updates to the Vera, you can do this on the Vera Edge and Vera Plus and it's really going to solve a lot of people's problems when it comes to designing a mesh network. Because if you think about it, some people have one, two devices, three devices, and then some people have most of their devices on the other side of the home but their wireless router um, is, is on the right side of the home. So it's, it's very difficult to, to make a, a really perfect uh, uh, quality mesh network sometimes. And the wireless bridge mode is going to really help with that. Um, so today we're going to actually hop on the computer. I'm going to show you how to put your Vera Edge uh, in wireless bridge mode. Alright, so the first thing is you want to make sure that your Vera Edge is plugged directly into the router with a hardline Ethernet connection. Then you'll bring up the screen, the GUI interface for your Vera Edge, and you're going to navigate over to Settings and Net and Wi-Fi. Once you're in here, it takes a little second to load the actual page. Um, you're going to see how does Vera connect to the internet. You're going to see automatic configuration, and we're going to choose, this will pop up here after a little bit too, like it did. Um, you're going to choose through a Wi-Fi access point. So go ahead and click the little radio button on that and you're going to press scan and connect to Wi-Fi network. It takes a second for it to pick up all the Wi-Fi networks in your area. Um, so we're going to choose ours and you're going to type in the password and press pick. And it's super important to press OK. This button is actually the one that activates and sends this data over to the Vera. If you just unplug it within five seconds right now, it's, it's not going to work. So make sure that you wait, you press OK, and then from here you're going to start that time. I would say just give it 10 seconds. Um, once you have waited that 10 seconds, you can go ahead and unplug it from the wall, unplug it from your router, move it to a central location in your home, plug it all back in, and it should work. Um, after about wait about a minute or two for it to boot. Once it boots, uh, you'll be able to log back in and from there you should have a wireless bridge on your Vera Edge. If you guys want more information about this and ever want to revisit this video, 
can always navigate over to Z-Wave Outlet. Go over to Learn Z-Wave, down to Z-Wave 101, Connected Home Planning. On this page, you're going to see more information on home layout, uh, the hourglass effect. We also have another diagram on this page that you could take a look at. And that should wrap it up for today. If you guys have any other questions, please email us. Always subscribe, and we'll see you next time.